Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm back out with Dave, who's just climbing on the river to have a fish and get the day off to a start, hopefully with a fish. The last video you guys would have seen was me and Dave fishing. This is basically the second day of our two days together, just in a different piece of water. Bit of a drive, bit of a walk downstream, and we're gonna fish back up to where we got in. I have to be out of here a little bit earlier today, so bit of a shorter day, bit less water to cover, but hopefully we can find a couple of really good fish for you guys. I'm running through what I'm using as the video goes on. I'm gonna change a couple of things uh, from last week's video, but essentially it's just the same stuff. Big streamer, nymph rig, hope for the best. Yo, okay, so essentially all I'm gonna change, so essentially all I'm gonna change from yesterday is I'm gonna lengthen out the leader slightly on my uh, streamer rod. I had about maybe three and a half feet, four feet of like 16 pound yesterday. I had one really good eat which was really good uh, and I moved a couple of fish kind of like hot just there was nothing really like really aggressive or assertive from the fish uh, now it might just be the mood they were in or what but the river is real low and clear um, so what I'm going to do is actually add some 1x to the end of my <clears throat> 16 pounds about 12 pound I guess to drop down that tippet size a little bit add a little bit more length to it and see if that has anything to do with potentially getting a more uh, a bit more commitment out of anything or move something or just you know something something so I'm gonna give it a go uh, and just see if that makes any difference at all so I'm just gonna add a couple of feet of like I said 1x blood knot and um, just see just see if it does anything does anything good taking some hip pack and I'm gonna change this over to a different fly I feel like I've used that other fly so many times and caught so many fish and rocks and stuff on it maybe that uh, hook is a bit blunt so you know any hookup I do get potentially uh, isn't quite as good as it could be we'll try this little game changer here that my buddy Kieran tied up for me a while back shout out to Kieran if you're watching bro you the man left his loop done son so we'll see if that makes any difference today at all take it into the hip pack Bub was well crushed on that one. And so that's what we got. Little rainbow trouty kind of looking fly, I think. A little bit extra length in that leader and a little bit lighter. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, in theory, it makes sense, right? Oh, I had a follow then. 
fish on it. Yep, fish followed that one again. The hell fish, why don't you eat it? Well, same as yesterday, half ass in it. Had a fish in there following the streamer, but um, we wouldn't commit, so I'm just gonna bang this nymph through. He's right there on that shelf. Ooh, that was him, I believe, that was him. There we go, there we go. Swipe, swipe, oh! Gone. Okay, so again, I was getting fish kind of following, but really just kind of just non-engaging and not really super interested so I'm gonna resign myself to the fact that I might have to nymph fish I could drop down a size or two or three of the streamer but to be honest um, I don't want to oh, if I'm gonna catch on a streamer I want to catch on a big streamer uh, so that's that's pretty much where my head's at so what I'm gonna do is just fish this as well as I can with a nymph. I know there's fish in there because they were following my streamer around. So, and it's a good fish too. It's a well worth catching. Around over there somewhere, it was. Yep, got him. That took some doing, and that'll be the guy that was following my streamer. It was hard to get that drift right. And those flies down in that, in that current. Sweet. Nice. Got him. Whoo. Yeah, that fish was following my streamer just kind of really nonchalantly and just uninterested. So, yeah, that's how I kind of I eventually conceded and just decided that I should put the nymph through there. And that was worthwhile. Anyway, all good on the board. Good times. And I think that ate, oh, that ate the 101 stonefly. Yo, so it's finally time to take the jacket off because it's actually pretty warm now. And I'm also going to chuck some sunscreen on. So I use that Sodo NZ stuff. Yeah, I like it. I've been using it for, oh, I used it all last season. Um, I really like it, it's good stuff. If you want to check it out, the link's in the description below. And if you do go buy some, just uh, type Trippin in the product code discount thingy bit and you'll save yourself like 10%. And it is that time of year where you've got to be good about this stuff because nobody wants the old cancer. Might be a fish down there, I'm not sure. I'm gonna run it past it like it is though. 
right somewhere down there. Or there. Yep, that was him. That's a big run. Nice, bro. Well, I reckon. Nice work, bro. Thank you. Was cool so just i saw that fish down on the inside like real deep just a faint smudge uh one drift boom job done and a great fish they're super happy uh we just had a small argument about who's going to fish next uh so we've come to the agreement that i'm going to throw the streamer around see if i can move the fish then we'll have a bite to eat and then it's over to dave that's fair okay so i said some lunch oh i'm going to retie that that's a bit banged up um so yeah just had a bite to eat, and Dave was just like, ah, you fish that out, and it'll take the next piece of water. Um, nice and fresh, which is just fine by me. It's all a very kind of casual affair, now we've all caught some fish. Pretty casual affair before then, to be honest. Right, so I'm just going to replace this bit of tippet between the dropper fly and the point fly, because it's a bit banged up. So, compromise, so we'll change that. Change that right out, mate. Double Davy knot, tag ends in the hip pack, and same old size 14 flashback pheasant tail from category 3 fly. But I did say um, this morning, I think that I was going to tell you what I was using, and I haven't. Uh, so sorry about that, I'll tell you now. So, what I'm using is the Helios 3 628F in the olive color Popeye, the Mirage LT size 2 reel from Orbis. And then on there, as usual, with the Scientific Anglers Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo Line from Scientific Anglers. I think I said that twice. Uh, but yeah, it's from Scientific Anglers. And off of that, I've got a, about 14 foot straight through leader um, down to a size 10 101. I'm going to say that four, size 14 flashback pheasant tail. And I'm just going to add a big piece of split shot just to try and get down nice and quick and deep in that uh, real deep dark stuff that I haven't fished properly yet. Hopefully that indicator will deal with it. I probably should have beefed that indicator up but I'm taking the lazy route and I'm going to try and get away with it. Oh that's a fun rig to try and throw around. <laughs> Start with that, see how we go. It's not bad. Yeah, it's in there, it's in the zone. Pretty deep. Deep and zony. Yeah, we go. Split shot. It's good stuff. Win for the pheasant tail. Nice. Thanks, bro. Full stretch. Yeah, that's a lovely fish. Split shot for the win. That's just, I can't emphasize enough how much, and that's wrong, how many more fish you'll catch if you start using split shot, eh? It's just, you think your flies are getting down and they're just not. 
it's amazing. So yeah, you know, you split shot and then thank me later. <laughs> there we go, that's better. That's where I want to be. Over the back there. Anywhere over there, man. Yep. Cool jack. Just had to be a little bit further over. Oh. Bust me off. Probably should have checked that leader. Okay. So, and I'll go on about this to you all the time. Uh, check your knots and your gear after you catch a fish. Well, I didn't check my knots and my gear after I caught that fish and it just cost me that other fish. So, I'm an idiot and that's a good reminder of why you should do that. Uh, bummer, that's a good fish. Well, it's all good though, barbless hooks all pop out. That's why you crush your barbs. There he is. <laughs> and go. Is he wrapped or not? Oh, ooh. almost got me instead. <laughs> oh, bummer, man. That looked like a good fish, too. Okay, it's raining again. Well, it has been anyway. Um, anyway, so that's it, we're out of here. Um, Dave's just gonna finish off finishing that pool there, but it's seeming pretty, pretty dead. So that's us, another really cool day. Dave actually hooked like six fish today, five of them while I wasn't filming. So he had a really good, a really good morning this morning. Lost a couple this afternoon. I struggled this morning, just stuck on that streamer thing uh, and that didn't really work out for me. So eventually I decided that I'll go to the nymph a couple of nice fish so all, all good stuff really um great to be back in here great to fish with dave always good fun and can never really grumble about catching quality fish like we've done in the last two days so stoked stoked to be back out and doing it uh right we're gonna get out of here because i've got to go home i've got to work tonight which is dumb but i'm actually okay with it caught some nice fish and no complaints sun's gonna come back out for about five minutes so i'll use this to pack all my stuff away we'll get out of here Hope you enjoyed this one guys give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff hope you have a great weekend i'll see you on the next one peace